Hello everyone, this is Dr. CJ Tank and today we will discuss about the physical stability of suspension in the chapter course dispersion in the subject physical pharmaceutics to SAM4. So here physical stability. Physical stability we can say it is a condition in which particles they remain uniformly distributed throughout the dispersion without any sign of sedimentation. Here the sedimentation should not be observed in our suspension. So in such a condition we can say our suspension that is stable in our nature, stable in nature. But that is very much difficult to achieve uh, uh, that is very much difficult to achieve such kind of suspension which should not show any type of sign of sedimentation. So we can uh, uh, restate the definition of this uh, physical stability. We can say instead that uh, here the particle should settle but it should be easy to resuspend. Here the sedimentation that is but natural that is that will be observed in our product but it should be resuspended. Resuspension or the redispersibility of the product it should be easy. So over here first we can say the extent of sedimentation that will be expressed by two things or we can say two methods are there to express the sedimentation. First one that is the sedimentation volume F and another one that is the degree of flocculation beta. Here this both the method that is applicable to the flocculated system only. So we will see this one by one. First one sedimentation volume. Here the F that is stands for the sedimentation volume that is equals to Vu upon Vo that means Vu that is the ultimate volume of the sediment divided by the initial volume of the suspension. The value of F or the sedimentation volume that is dimensionless and that is also denominated with the Vs. If here we are using the cylinder then we can write Hu by HO. H that is the ultimate height of the sediment and HO that is the initial height of the suspension. So we can measure with the help of cylinder also, we can use the cylinder, we can incorporate our product or we can say the suspension into the cylinder and then afterwards we can determine the sedimentation volume. volume. So that's, that's why it has been written F is equals to HU upon HO. So now the value of F, F if the value of F that is equals to 1, then we can say there is no sedimentation, the product uh, the any any product or we can say the uh, solute molecule it will not be sedimented or dispersed phase it will not be sedimented in a dispersion medium and if the value of f that is equals to zero then it is a complete sedimentation which we can say it is a sign of instability of our sedimentation uh, instability of our suspension so normally the value of f it lies in between zero to one it will be 0 to 1. If it is on higher side nearer to 1 then there is a less sedimentation or if it is near to 0 then we can say the product that is not good in a quality. So here we can say higher the F then better the physical stability of our product. Then we can see with the help of this pictorial view over here one of the suspension is there one of uh, so over here the sedimentation parameter of the suspension that is discussed first one in A that is the flocculated suspension here in the initial state when we have prepared the suspension and we have keep it in a cylinder so at that time the value of F that is equals to 1 that means we can say the ultimate height of the sediment there is no sedimentation in this product so we can say the height of the sediment that is equals to the height of the uh, suspension or we can say initial height of the suspension. So that's why we can say there is no suspension, uh, no sedimentation. That's why the value of F that is equals to 1. So this is very good quality but initially that when we prepared the suspension at that time we can see like this. This is basically in case of calculated suspension. So after some time when we store such a product and after the some time we can see the there in, uh, uh, sedimentation will be initiated in our product. So due to that the product that will be slowly sedimented and over here after the so, uh, some, some time the value of F that will be equals to 0 0.6 over here 
we can measure in the cylinder with the ml we can measure these things and the supernatural layer that will be clear in nature see we have we, we know very well that in a flocculated suspension the supernatural layer that is that remain clear so here also the supernatural because due to the sedimentation of the sedimentation of the flux that is present in our flocculated suspension here the flux they are higher in the density and that's why the sedimentation rate that is very fast whereas we if we consider the deflocculated suspension then d de, in case of deflocculated suspension the supernatant um, it will remain cloudy the rate of sedimentation that is slow but when the sedimentation will occur it will form one of the hard cap and that is very much difficult to resuspend it or the redispersion that is very much difficult in case of deflocculated suspension so these are regarding the uh, value of uh, or the, regarding the sedimentation value in two different suspension flocculated and deflocculated suspension then this sedimentation volume that can be used to select the better suspension we can select on the basis of the sedimentation nature of two or three different suspension we can compare them and on the basis of that we can select which one is a better suspension and also we can identify a suitable suspending agent for example if we are taking uh, three different suspending agent and we are preparing the suspension in each suspension we are adding the different suspending agent for example in one of the suspension we are preparing the suspension with the help of sls then afterwards we are preparing the suspension with the twin and then afterwards we are preparing the suspension with the help of span so out of these three sls uh, twin and span we can compare that which one is a good uh, which which formulate the good suspension so out of this we can uh, decide which one is a good suspending agent then afterwards if we come to know that for example in particular suspension sls sodium lauryl sulfate that is a good suspending agent then in such kind of suspension what will be the optimum concentration of the sls that is required to prepare a good suspension so here with the help of sedimentation volume also we can determine the optimum concentration of the suspending agent that is required to prepare good suspension see in this figure if we, if we can plot one of the graph of sedimentation volume of that means the f versus time and if you are taking three different concentration of the suspending agent and we are plotting the graph then we can say initially when there is no sedimentation or initially there will be not any type of sedimentation so the value of one uh, value of f that will be one so this graph it will be started from the one then afterwards slowly the sedimentation will start depending on the concentration of the suspending agent there are three different pattern three different pattern has been observed so here we can say on the basis of figure that in one first first case there is no suspending agent then afterwards we can consider the second layer that is good compared to one number suspension and compared to uh, one and two the three that is comparatively better one so we can say the concentration with the that we have added in a suspension three uh, that is very good and we should go for the the this concentration of the suspending agent so on the basis of this curve we can ultimately determine that which suspending agent is good and after this suspending agent which at which concentration uh, of the suspending agent that is good or that is required to have a better suspension of our product so on the basis of sedimentation volume we can determine these things then afterwards degree of flocculation here the degree of flocculation that is denominated with the beta beta that is equal to the, the equation is beta is equal to f divided by f alpha where f that is the sedimentation volume of flocculated system divided by sedimentation volume of deflocculated system here the uh, another equation for the same thing that is beta is equals to vu upon v alpha here the vu that is the ultimate sediment volume of the flocculated system divided by ultimate sediment volume of the deflocculated system see over here the value of beta or we can say the value of f that is 
if f that is equals to f alpha that means the sedimentation pattern sedimentation volume that is in a flocculated system and deflocculated system that is same then the beta value that is that will be near uh, that will be 1 the value of beta that will be 1 if f that is equals to f alpha so we can say this is the minimum standard or minimum value or we can say this one one of the baseline if the value uh, of beta it will start from the uh, 1 and if the in any suspension and the value of beta that is near to 1 then we can say the suspension that is deflocculated in a nature so by increasing the value of beta or we can say the higher the beta the greater will be the physical stability or we can in another sense we can say uh, if the value of uh, beta that is near to 1 then it is deflocculated system and if it is raises that means it will be converted from deflocculated to flocculated system here the method that is the destructive method because we need to convert the flocculated suspension into the deflocculated system and for that we can use the electrode also uh, to convert into the uh, from flocculated to deflocculated system so we can say this one is a destructive method of testing whereas uh, the sedimentation volume method that is not a destructive it is very easy method and that is also we can say it is one of the quality control tool uh, for the to check the quality of the suspension so these are the mainly differences between the flocculated uh, sorry in, in between the sedimentation volume and degree of flocculation here the method that is destructive in a nature then this two method that we have seen sedimentation volume and another one that is the degree of flocculation both they have they indicate the behavior of the sedimentation that means that uh, with the help of these two method we can determine the sedimentation nature so after the sedimentation uh, that is very much important to check the redispersibility of our product so here one of the method uh, here we can use the one of the instrument that is the mechanical shaker device and uh, for that to do the experimentation first we need to prepare uh, one of the suspension in a 100 ml measuring cylinder then set aside and uh, keep them uh, store them store this suspension for some time allow them for the sedimentation once our product that is completely it shows the sedimentation or the sedimentation stops after that we can uh, fix this cylinder into the mechanical shaker uh, device and rotate them 360 degree at 20 rpm so once we are rotating then at that time the dispersion uh, whatever the sediment it will goes to the dispersion medium that means sedimentation will mix with the dispersion medium and uh, here in this practical we can say the end, end point uh, at at the time of end point we need to consider that the sediment that is at the bottom of the our uh, measuring cylinder it should be completely completely removed from the bottom and it should be uh, completely mixed with the dispersion medium so at that particular time we can say this one is the end point for the experimentation but over here on the basis of this experiment experimentation we can say lower the time required or the lower the number of rpm then on the uh, that higher the re redispersibility if in a less time the redispersion occur or redispersibility occur then we can say it is a good suspension so after the uh, determination of the sedimentation redispersibility that is also very much important to determine so over here in this lecture we have considered about the physical stability of suspension sedimentation volume f degree of flocculation beta and also we studied about the redispersibility of the suspension. So, this was all about the physical stability of suspension. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.